Greetings. I'm Dr. Robert, and on this installment of Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, the subject is your first trip to India. Many people contact me and they say, I'm going to India. What should I know? What should I do? And the first thing that I encourage them to ask themselves is whether they have a good reason for going to India. In my experience, it is always a bad idea just to go to India because you've heard something about it and you have an idle interest, an idle curiosity about the place. You should either have a strong desire, you should feel like something is pulling you there, or better yet, you should be invited there by someone. In any event, it should be a well thought out process. You should examine your reasons for going carefully and you should plan your trip very carefully. Do not, under any circumstances, think of going for less than three weeks because it will take at least three weeks to get over your shock. No matter how many videos and movies and, and how many Indian friends you have, you will always, as a non-Indian, experience at least three weeks of shock when you get there because it is such a, it's a location that is so different from the rest of the world. It's very important once you decide to go there to do your homework, do not try to go to too many places. The more you travel, the greater the possibility exists that you will become unwell. Sickness is much less nowadays than when I went there more than 40 years ago, but it is still very easy to become sick if you're not careful. And you will become less careful as you become more fatigued. And simply being in India can sometimes be extremely fatiguing because of how unusual and different it is and how many decisions you have to make that you never realized that you might have to make. So, it is, in my opinion, extremely important that after you arrive there, probably you will have come from North America and have uh, at least 10 or 12 hours of jet lag, which will take 10 or 12 days to overcome. So, it is very important that for the first three or four days, you don't go anywhere. You don't have to stay in a big city, but find a place that is going to be fairly quiet outside the location that you fly into and spend three or four days there, get to know a little bit about the place in, the con in a small controllable context with a limited number of people. Remember that there is really n very little, if any, privacy available and the number of people that you will experience there is far greater than you have experienced before. I remember coming to Manhattan after being in India for many years and not coming back to North America and thinking how few people there were in Manhattan. So if I had had that experience, you can be sure that when you get there, you will be amazed at how many people there are. Do not overstimulate yourself. Do not go out and immediately start to meet everyone, do everything, buy everything and eat everything. This is a guarantee uh, that, you will, that you, you will become unwell, you will become sick because you're trying to do too much at a time when your body is investing a large amount of energy in simply overcoming your jet lag. So when you do decide that you want to go to India, talk to people that have been there before, if at all possible, travel with another person because in this context, when you're in such an environment that will be alien to you, Two heads, most of the time, will be better than one. When I suggest that you go with someone else, I mean an intelligent individual, someone who is going to assist you in this process during which the two of you are going to be adapting to this environment that you have never experienced before. So plan ahead and understand that your plan very likely uh, is going to be changed or interrupted in some way simply by the force of events over there. But if you have a plan in place, it will be much easier to adapt the plan than if you simply show up and think, ah, I will uh, open myself to what India has available. India has a vast array of things that are available. You cannot experience everything and there are many things you don't want to experience. So don't try to overdo. Don't go without planning. Make sure that you have a clear intention and that you politely request the providence to assist you to have a, a successful trip.
This is Dr. Robert saying bon voyage and Jaya Ganesha.